Welcome to Chapter 2 of the DIY Demo. If you have not seen Chapter 1, please watch it so that you fully understand the demonstration and are aware of the safety precautions involved. In order to pause the video in between steps, press the button of the video. Press it again in order to restart it. Now we can begin. Switch on the device. Please take out the four banana cables from the white cardboard box. Now take out the short red banana cable from the small compartment of the yellow case. We will be testing the relay, so please place it next to the Campana 100. Connect the I out to the current inputs of the relay using terminals 8 and 9. After that, connect the binary input of our test set at IN1 to the relay's trip contacts using terminals 2 and 3. Now bridge terminals 6 and 2 so we can test both of the overcurrent time functions. Now the circuit looks like this. Turn the relay so that the front panel is facing you. Verify that the relay settings are correct. Set the time dial to 5, the curve to E, and the pickup to 5. The 10 setting should also be set to 5 for the instantaneous trip. With these settings, we expect the relay to pick up at about 5 amps. Pressing the wheel once will switch the eye out field to edit mode. A value of 4 amperes can be set by carefully turning the wheel to the right. The value is output by pressing the start key. Now the active pickup LED on the front panel of the relay will turn green, indicating that the relay has been supplied. Pressing the wheel allows you to toggle between measured values and the desired values in edit mode. When in edit mode, Carefully turn the wheel clockwise until the LED on the front panel of the relay remains red. This is the pickup value. Press the Keep Result key in order to record it. Now, carefully turn the wheel counterclockwise until the LED turns green again. Stop the current output by pressing the Start Stop key again. Doing this automatically stores a second set of results. Both results can be viewed by pressing the Previous and Next keys. Now the test is finished. Next, we are going to perform a trip time test and we need to clear the results. We need a timer for this test. By default, the timer begins with a value change in the current output and ends when the current output has stopped. Since the timer settings are already correct, the only thing we need to do is return to the quick screen. Next, we will test the trip time of the relay at 6 amps. Therefore, set the value and activate the current output. The timer is running. Please do not change any values since doing this would restart the timer. We expect a trip time of about 80 seconds. As the trigger is set to binary input IN1 by default, the device will stop automatically when the relay trips. To keep the results stored in memory, we continue with the test rather than clearing the results. For higher currents, it makes sense to set a timeout to prevent damage to the relay in case it doesn't trip properly. Move the focus to the timeout and set it to 5 seconds for the next test. We expect an instantaneous trip to occur at a 55 amp current. The instantaneous trip time is 53 milliseconds. Again, we can view the results using the previous and next keys. The results can be saved on a USB memory stick for documentation purposes. This completes our basic test of a non-directional overcurrent relay.